Hello everybody, good evening, how's it going? Sorry about the late start, I had to look up the steam vent puzzle. What's up, Low Dry? Our Dominic, Bacon Copter, Manic, hi everybody. Happy Thursday, I hope you're doing well. I am... That's weird. Like, I remember turning this down specifically because it was super loud, and then I feel like it just went back to being super loud again. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I am right tuckered out. I had uh, four hours of voiceover recording today, followed by two hours of interviews, and then I had to take my kids to tennis, and that was, that was great because I pick up, I took my younger daughter and I picked up my older daughter from their school. And then I drove to Younger Daughter's Tennis Lesson, uh, which started at 3, 3.45. And then I drove back to the school because next to the school is a tennis court where the Older Daughter's Tennis Lesson starts at 4. And then I drove back to Younger Daughter to pick her up from her tennis lesson. And then I took her back to the school to pick up Older Daughter from her tennis lesson. So it was needlessly complicated. But most things are when you have when you have young kids. Yeah, it was great. It has been a fucking party. Um, but I'm here. I'm alive. That's about all you can ask. Ready to step on some more steam vents and die. I'm really salty about the steam vent thing. I'm really. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we get through it. Mostly unscathed this time. I looking looking up the the answer to it. I see what the problem was. There's two parts of the puzzle. Well, I say puzzle, but there's two parts of it where you have to uh, you have to cross two vents at a time. Which I don't really know how you're supposed to work that out, considering you can't see through the steam. It's up two to be. Happy Thursday to you as well. Today's special steamed streamer and salt sauce. <laughs> yeah, it seems pretty accurate. But it's fine, it's fine. Y'all really like Penumbra, huh? Really, really seem to like this game. Um, I, I certainly appreciate it for what it is. A, an important precursor to the Amnesia games, but it also shows, shows a lot of age in that, too. So. Um, before we get started, I have some very important things to remind you of. Um, well, the main thing is, tomorrow night is the Mega Wheel, where we are taking horror or Halloween-y games from across Steam, anything that's $10 or less, and we're going to be putting them on the wheel and spinning three times and hopefully finding some stuff that's entertaining. So, tonight, tonight is the only night for you to submit games to the Mega Wheel if you want to do this. So, if you have perused Steam and come up with something that would be a, uh, a worthy submission, you should absolutely put it in. Uh, if you haven't, I will very much forgive you if you, uh, if you skip out of here for a few minutes to, to peruse the, the indie horror listings on Steam and find something appropriately cheap and interesting looking. 5k, what is this, bank robbery? Well, that takes me, that leads me to another point. Um, that I announced earlier today. I know originally when we did uh, Halloween suggestions for stream games, I said it was like it, it was a one-way trip. I wasn't going to refund any of the suggestions. Uh, that was merely a ploy to dissuade people from submitting like ten different games that they wanted me to play for Halloween. Obviously, we've reached the end of Spooktober. I've already made our Spookvember plans, uh, and unfortunately, I couldn't accommodate every game that people recommended that I play, but in my infinite wisdom and mercy, I've elected to refund those requests that didn't get did or won't got done. Um, so if you have more coins than you did last night, that would be why. <clears throat> so you lied. You're like you lie. You lied like a lying liar lies. I didn't lie. I did intend to simply consume your coins wholesale. 
uh, without without a hint of remorse. Um, but I had a change of heart, and I don't think I don't think it can really be called lying if you say one thing and you fully intend to do one thing, and then you face a change of heart later on and do something else. Pretty sure that doesn't apply to me. If that doesn't apply to you, that means I played your fucking game. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's up, Smokey? Yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? We're all in rare form tonight, I can tell. We're all we're all in a really good headspace, I think, to play more Penumbra. <laughs> I think this will be great. So, but yeah, this is this is it. We we've, we've come to the waning days of Spooktober. Um. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, Bacon. Um, we're gonna finish Penumbra tonight. We're gonna do the Mega Wheel tomorrow, so we'll get we'll get a little more indie horror crammed in there. And then on Saturday, we're gonna do something that quite a few people have been after me to do for a very long time, uh, since before I even got the EverDrive for the Nintendo. Uh, we're gonna do Sweet Home. I have a translated copy of Sweet Home. And we are gonna beat our faces against it because as my understanding is a very very difficult game. So we'll see how that goes. So without further ado, I'd say let's let's get back to it. Let's continue from last save and scald ourselves to death a few more a few dozen more times. <clears throat> I think we're right around the halfway point in this game, too. Which is nice. Alright. <laughs> what is that angry-ass chicken? That's, that's one. Get all that free steam. It's gonna be coming out of my ears in a minute here. What the fuck? Just look up the solution. I did! I am in the process of performing the solution. This is how well the solution works. You got two games you want to nominate? Well, if you want to game the system low dry, you can nominate one. And you can, okay, so does this one just, ah, okay. So there's a delay on that one. Okay, that's what I was fucking up. Oh God. All right, we're out. We did it, okay. All right, there's a delay on that one. That's what I was fucking up. I see how it is you play Russian horror jank, but not the one I bought you. We will get to that eventually, Dirkus. We will, we will get there someday. You go back and do it in reverse now. Absolutely not. I think that's double salt reduction. Ten years. I'm not even sure why this is here. In the past, I'm nominating anything since I'm most likely not going to be here tomorrow, but so does Trigger Pop. That's not horror! Come on, y'all. Oh. Okay, that doesn't open, I guess. I guess this is pointless. Bought Vampire ages ago. Is that where I got that game? This guy gets spoiled on how to do the thing. The door is jammed shut. Okay, that was what I was supposed to do. He 
can't be stuck here. I mean, I, I definitely could. Maybe it wants you to stand on here. I don't know about that. Wait, maybe it's not like that. Pathologic 2 Halloween. Oh, you just. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pathologic 2 Halloween y, or is it more everyday life now? Pathologic, pathologic 2 is definitely Halloween y. Um, I don't think it's like. It's not gonna fly for, for, a, for a wheel game, though. It's way too long for that. Very good. Shut up. Nobody asked you. <laughs> God Christ, it's gonna be one of those nights. Uh, Carton tracks are transferring ore. As far as I know, they use the same, same setup to this day. Completely closed up, can't get out that way. I may never get out. Surely we're not, surely we're not doing a minecart sequence, are we? That'd be a fucking trip. Hands are holding the cart in place. No, not the cart. Pathologic Marble Nest is short enough. It's like one to two hours long. What? What is that? Technically, both games on a nominator too long to finish. You get the the idea of both very quickly. Yeah, I mean. I mean, if if Durkis or one of y'all, if you thought. Pathologic 2 would be sufficiently entertaining just in just in the opening 30 minutes, then yeah, by all means put it up there. Tech demo for Pathologic 2, okay. While it's new, the cement's almost wet. It can't have been put up more than a week ago. What the hell? Alright, well the puzzle here is obvious. It's just I need to get this thing off of the chain. Part part one of one day for bat for the bachelor's campaign, okay. Somebody's making funky noises. Why is police simulator in the Halloween cell? Oh my god, there's- I have bolt cutters. What made me think they go together? I completely forgot I have bolt cutters. I have bolt cutters specifically for this eventuality. But yeah, th yeah, there's a whole tab in the sale page for not scary. They've always done this. Steam- Steam has always had... Janky-ass cart. Ah! Okay, that was pretty funny. Yeah, Steam has always had uh, non-spoopy games in their spoopy game sale. Stacks of books are a mixture of industrial reference material and scientific journals. Um, I bought a couple uh, pinball tables today that were on sale. Though I will give them credit, they were the, the Williams Universal Monster tables and the Walking Dead table. Not in not horror, I'm in RPG. Image and notes relating to the gray walk gray walkworm. This thing is big for an invertebrate. Sixties microscope, functional for research purposes. We've come a long way since those were common. Uh, I see some drawers. Oh boy, a note. This would be a smaller species of worm of the worm thing I saw earlier, just a juvenile. It's been dissected, the internal organs removed. It could be much older than the wall I demolished. Well, let's do this. <clears throat> Did I do kill it with fire? Did I do that? I have no memory. I was actually looking through some of the streams from uh, from this past year, 
And there were totally things in there that I didn't remember that I did. Thought you did it like a month ago? Fill it with fire. Hmm. I recall it being done. Steam doesn't say he owns it. A cohort, a man with no name, is he who opens the ga this gateway to hell. A grin on his face is terrible indeed. He watches the men writhe and turn. So father looks on, something vital in his hand. What's up, Vesti? My easies now, I feel as if I'm not the only one. It's getting crowded in there, like I'm just one visitor of many. Strange thing is, they all seem familiar. Ah, it's a wiggly worm. I, I'm, I'm gonna dissect it. I'm a scientist. We. Oh, that's actually kind of work. I am the science man. Massive statistics and crude drawings on this chalkboard. They all relate to large species of analyte. Locked from the other side. I think the key is still unlocked. Oh my god! Like every horror adventure game has this puzzle. Every single goddamn one. Uh, what do you want me to poke it through with? Uh, I'm guessing screwdriver? There we go. Goddamn, everybody loves this puzzle. I did play Chernobylite. Yeah, I did I did a review of the early access. I have not done the full, re full release version, no. I have not actually checked back up on Chernobylite since that, uh, uh, oh dear. Since I, since I played that first one. While you hunt for those delicate, uh, melt-in-your-mouth mousy morsels, there are places you should not go for, for fear of death. The Reaper lives here, just like you and I, and just like you and I, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate in him. There is a small place that I do not want you to visit, even on your holidays, because it is dark and evil place that I've been. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind, some bad things flowed from my mind and through my pen. The brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn to blood into my grace. And by the way, should you turn peckish, red is at its finest sautéed with a little engine oil. <laughs> So much death and disease down here, I suppose slugs were inevitability. A light switch. Oh, hello. There's writing scrolled everywhere, must be an ultraviolet ink. Definitely the product of a deranged mind, but whose? In the debris, I'd say something huge broke in this room not too long ago. There's blood and slime everywhere. Whatever happened to here, someone must have been in a great deal of pain. Only one green blade land dwelling creature big enough to lose this much blood, and I don't see many skink lizards hanging about. Also, just play a few levels of DRG now. It has jack-o'-lanterns in levels again. Artificial habitat. Those things look long dead. I think I know how they felt not being able to get out. So... Oh, here's some. Professor, uh, these are the bio biomedical journals of Dr. J. P Petters, completed between the dates of 30th March 1969 and 1st January 1972 at the Northwestern Research Station with the Northwestern Iron Mine with the permission of Delta Mining Corp. Replication of selected extracts left to the disposal mine foreman. Um, gray Rock Worm, investigate the abnormal presence of the caddis in the Greenland Rock. Quick samples, standard series of testing. Upon arrival at the mining facility, I was immediately stunned by the sheer volume of fauna that finds a way of life down here despite the conditions. In general, one would assume that species whose natural habitat has passed a certain depth would find the intrusion of human, human activity too great a threat to remain in place. However, almost the exact opposite seems to be the case in this instance. It's curious that certain areas of the mine appear to be entirely without life of any kind, and yet other deeper areas are teeming, and were the situation permitting, I would embrace the opportunity to commit further time to study these organisms. However, the purpose of my stay here shall continue to be the genus uh, Ryacophilia. I can't hear red very well, and I can't read the subtitles with your head in the way. Okay. So, I can be up here. And then, 
The problem is the audio, there's one audio setting for the entire game. Um, and so if I turn red up, it's gonna make other parts, like scary stuff that happens, like wall collapse and stuff, absolutely deafening. So hopefully the subtitles will suffice. It's only Steam games, is GOG stuff on the table. If so, there's the Elvira game on GOG that we can laugh at for 30 minutes. Um, let's stick with Steam for now. Just just to simpli simplify things for me. I'd rather not go scrambling all over the internet looking for, looking for stuff. Finally, some writing paper. Look at me just using out the pages to scroll down whatever comes in my head. What is this stuff anyway? Some kind of research paper? No matter, it's paper all the same. I can finally record what's been happening down here for, I suppose, about a year now. It must be the end of 2001 by now. I wonder when Christmas was. No matter, too tired to write now. I'll rest a little first. Is it you all right? No, let's, let's stick to Steam. Let's, let's keep it on Steam. <clears throat> the Elvira game is by the same guys who made Waxworks, so it could be pretty cool. We could do that another time. <laughs> Thank you for moving your head. My pleasure. Uh, samples collected. The collection process has been far easier than anticipated. The setup of the artificial environment for the rockworm went without a hitch, and the specimens themselves are so abundant as to make keeping them out far more challenging than containing them. Are all of a healthy size, perhaps even beyond recorded size. I can only assume this is due to some lack of natural predators down here. Two adults in artificial habitat, two larval infants dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. No fucking. But down here two days is meaning to record events every day. I was too busy securing the area. I've used some supplies to the old mining system while myself in here. It seems the safest place as any. So those things should at least stay put for a little while. To that end, it seems I have a pretty lucky stumbling here. Also, research is about something similar to what's been hunting me ever since I escaped the shelter four days ago. Don't get me wrong, after what after what they did to me back there, I'd rather be facing anything else. And after almost a year of fighting for our lives, we didn't really stand a chance anyway. I don't know how many are left inside, but this is good. These notes might have some way to fight the uh, the things, the rock worms that followed me here. I don't know how they knew I was coming or how they managed to follow me in the dark, but maybe I can work that out now. I found some old new newspaper clippings. I guess they're referring to this mine. I had no idea it was so old, so big. I can see now why they built that facility here in the first place. A lot of history buried down here. It worries me, though. I've been resting all our hopes of rescue on one of the scientists who escaped right near the start of it all. He got out almost as the chaos began. They figured he might have made it out and brought help, but maybe me and him are due the same fate. I must record what's been going on, give uh, the world answers it needs so it doesn't fall prey to what's been released down here. But first I need to worry about myself, find a way out of here, and work out how to kill these worm things. Yeah, the Waxwork, Waxworks remake is on Steam and it's also really pricey, unfortunately. Uh, creatures are indeed larger than had previously been recorded. The juveniles still seem to be growing far beyond their natural limits. The adults have now expired. I'll watch with interest to see what lifespan is. Worms appear to have three senses. Taste, smell, and extremely sensitive sense of touch which allowed them to detect vibrations in the rock. Uh, natural prey is insects smaller than themselves, and heaven help those insects as the worm is a vicious and efficient killer. He's wrong. They have no sense of smell. Today I attempted to distract them with a the concoction I found lying around, but to no avail. However, it does seem they detect movement vib vibrations, which would explain how they can see in the dark. Damn, there's almost, almost, no way to escape them down here. I'm on their territory now. Lifespan is three days and counting. I can still hear them outside the walls. An extra, extra precaution, I've locked myself in the smaller study area, connected to the main lab room. If they get through that wall, I doubt the door will stop them, but it's better than nothing, barely. Subspecies of genus uh, Rhychophilia is highly adapted for its environment. If released above the surface, it seems likely they would quickly destroy the existing rockworm population. Soon after that, the population would grow to a size far outstripping its own food supplies. Given its increase in size and lifespan already due to unknown conditions, I hypothesize that the worm, if left in such conditions, it would grow up to a further three inches, making a total of almost one foot long. This is basically tremors. <laughs> It's the fifth day today, and I swear they've begun to surround my location. I can't tell whether or not they have breached the wall I built, but I'm certain they've entered whatever area surrounds this room. The future looks increasingly bleak. I intended to record here the events of the past year in the hope that perhaps what occurred could be contained or driven away. Now I realize I could write all I wanted. No one will ever make it down here to read it. So why write this now? Good question. I have no answer. All I do know is I'd rather take my own life than die at the jaws of those hideous monsters. 
I've tied a noose. Those monsters may feed on my corpse, but they won't take my life. Uh... I don't think that worked out for them. You know Kevin Bacon. So am I actually... Okay, I don't think we're going in there. But then again, I'm not sure why we came in here in the first place. We need a way out of here. Uh... Is there a light switch for this room? No, there's no light in this room. At all. Maybe why the chair in the middle of the room is knocked over? There's... I mean, it could be. I wonder if maybe he was interrupted. It's hard to tell because there's blood... There's red blood stains and there's green blood stains. Okay, we are not going that way. That much... That much is certain. Those cabinets are damaged, something violent went on here. So it is so weird, what is, oh, is that the, the weird Mountain Dew you are posting about earlier? You can nominate Bloodlines. Mountain Dew gingerbread cookie soda. Medical notes disturbed recently. Oh, hey, I made it turn it on. Very badly faded, looks like a close up view of some species of analid. Hour of Malkavian time. Um. Really not sure what's expected of me at the moment. I can break these things. Come in here. Ash. Kind of running, I'm running out of things to interact with. Mountain Dew Sangria Blast? That sounds pretty cool. Okay, I don't think I can get in there. Okay, apparently I can't open this. I know, right? What have I accomplished by getting in, in here other than finding a really creepy room? Work internet is better than your home. Eh. 
Open! Oh, okay. I managed to co-locate the chair into the into the cage. Ah, uh, I can almost get myself in there. Today I'm watch the public domain Universal Monster movie. That sounds like a good time. Maybe I'm just supposed to make something happen. Maybe if I go outside, I'll get chased by a worm or something. I'll chase you if you want. Thank you, Vesti. I knew I could always count on you. Oh. I was just supposed to come this way. I can see why they need fencing down here, but why use barbed wire? What were they trying to keep out? Where the hell am I? Um, all right, we're up here at shaft 12. We just went through the refinery. I forget the point of what we were doing. Like, what did I accomplish by doing all this? I got the power running. Oh wait, I got the power running. I think I need the power to open one of the doors, didn't I? I think I need the power to get into section C maybe? So just hang rights whenever I can. Doors been forged shut, it will never open again. Wait, this is what? Man, I'm super tired of these dogs. I probably didn't throw that far enough. Maybe I did. Go me. Gaming suggested has 87% positive reviews. Nice. Obviously a good choice. Uh, I've been down here. Another security keypad. So maybe not here. Maybe I need to go to... Maybe I need to go across to that other shaft. Okay, so we're here. Yo, let's try... Sh I don't think I've tried shaft 13. I'll go over there, but not here. I genuinely don't remember if I've been here. Another cryptic hog bundle on Fanatical? Nice. Okay, definitely haven't been here. This is new and exciting. There's rocks that loose, I might be able to shift them, but they're more likely to bury me alive. Well then... Well 
Well, then what am I doing over here? or anything? No, not quite right. Oh, I can go this way. The more of those tunnels, I know that means I better not stick around here too long. Great. Great, 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 great. Fuck's sake. Why, why is this place trying to kill me? I gotta get a grip. This place sucks. Everything, okay, there are eggs down there. Egg goes. Oh god, there's more eggs down the, this way. Oh god, this is, this is just eggs. It's oops, all eggs. Alright, I'm being chased by spooters. Okay, well I'm fucking dead. <laughs> too, too many spooters. Oh my god. That goes back to the spooters. Hooray, I found a way out, kind of. I think they're still following me. Yeah, they're still following me. Shit. Shit. You little fuck. Ow. It's really hard to do. Okay, he seems to be dead. Okay. Shit. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> Batteries and painkillers and flares and... There's a bunch of shit here. Oh my god, I'm not reading all that bullshit. You stupid. All right, I cannot push that. Okay, that's, that's just stupid. That's not gonna work. I don't know if any of this is going to help. They're probably just going to glitch through it anyway. Or, better than that, I have to go back that way. That's what I'm expecting. Blank note. Another major cave in, might have been rooted up to the surface. Unless my friends lie somewhere near you now. A friend in need is a friend indeed. But a friend that's dead is a poor conversation. May they rest in pieces. Ruptured and decomposing the pieces. Oh shit. Ah, here we go. I think this this is what I was supposed to figure out first. There we go. Yeah, you can't I can't I can't move the medium sized rock. But I can move the giant one. How are you able to move that? I don't know. Or horror protagonist strength. Um Piece of paper blank, save for the smears. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I know what this is for. No. God damn it. Shit. Oh, it's so annoying. 
It's a blank note because it's covered in ultraviolet ink. I have to take it all the way back to that room with the ultraviolet light just to read it. Which means I need to go all the way back to shaft 12. God, that sucks. Maybe a high pitched wine coming from the street. Oh, wait, that's Oddish. Lol. The mouth. Time for five sliding block puzzles. Fuck you, dog. Okay, so apparently this works. Potentially. Doggo went over there. Oh. Here. Okay, so if I can get down this hallway, we'll be there. Yeesh. No, no. Okay, that dog is obliging me by going down that hallway. Eh. On you asshole. I give you food and that's how you repay me? <sighs> Alright, this should have the code then. Out of the UV light, there's some text showing up on that blank piece of paper. I jot down a note, just in case. Charge password, 1371. Okay. 1371. We got what we needed. <laughs> um, I still have seven pieces of jerky. That's not bad. I guess before we should go out here, maybe we should read that note I got. Um, Trap Miner's final words. I write this note the knowledge that may well, so this is from 72. May well serve as my last will and testament. Myself and three other miners have been trapped beneath the main shaft to the surface for what we believe to be three days, but with no daylight and increasing dehydration, it's impossible to tell. The only thing keeping us alive is the hope that uh, there could be a rescue team already on the way. We we're also positive at the start, but that seems long ago now. Renton was the first to crack sometime during the first night. We all just lay there trying to sleep through the sound of his wailing and sobbing, trying to pretend his problems weren't our own, and that he was weak for having given up so soon. The fact was, he was dealing with the situation pretty realistically. Our chances of survival get smaller every hour. Since then, he hasn't said much, but the despair that gripped him seems to have spread through the rest of us like a cancer. We were such fools to ignore the foreman, and he paid uh, for that with his life. When we started putting security code locks on all the doors, we thought it was crazy. There's only us down here after all, so why should we need codes to access places we're all allowed to go? He gave us all code sheets, made us swear to keep them safe. Mine hasn't left my locker more than once. It's still there. It doesn't get much safer than that. We asked him who we were keeping them safe from, but he never said. It was paying the iris is what it was. Uh, I had to trek all the way to that crazy biologist's office, the mining room this morning, just to check the code for Section C. Okay. They tell you what to do. Obviously knew something about these mines we didn't. Some of the guys started acting weird. Not crazy weird, just not normal. That didn't stop a couple of them being carted off to mainland Europe for psychiatric help. There was no one I knew well. Until the incident three days ago. We were in chemical storage. One of the guys would seem pretty straight to start shouting. It wasn't a normal kind of shouting. I'm not any kind of wordsmith, so I just don't know how to describe the noises he was making. We'll just have to stick with not normal. He managed to hurt a couple guys, damage some equipment before he got them under control. Nothing serious. 
When we released him, he seemed okay. Phased, but all right. Didn't really know where he was. Far away look in his eyes. That look, I'll remember that for the rest of my days, if there aren't many more of them. His pupils weren't dilated. They just seemed to take up more space than it should be possible. Black and horrible. Then he snapped and grabbed up one of the high-rated explosive packs. We knew what he intended, saw it in those eyes. Those that could made a run for it, but the guy was already bearing down on the foreman. He didn't have a chance. There were five of us who made out uh, to the exit shaft. Only four survived the explosion. The elevator shaft collapsed in on us, and now it's anyone's guess how many are still trapped down here. The last thing I saw were, was those eyes. Seems like they were staring at me and me alone. Miles stat. Well, that's pretty fucking gross. So there's a lot going on here. There's there's something that made people crazy. There's something that turned dogs into zombies. There's something that made rockworms absolutely fucking massive. I mean, sure, surely it's all related, but who can say how? I keep going down here thinking it's not a dead end. It's totally a dead end. Dog goes like right there. Eat that. Eat that, you fuck. Ah, <sighs> okay. 1371. 1371. Boop. Okay, now I'm in a new place. Oh my god! So I'm here. Lake? There's a lake under here? Alright, I don't want to go back to section B. Two chemical storage is an incinerator. I guess let's see what the lake is. Really? The hunger is becoming rather uncomfortable here. How far away are you? You could not be far. I am held captive by a wall of stone in the northeast of the mine. As in any drama, there are many roles to be played. You must act the scientist in mixing potions, act the renegade in plots of destruction. On your travels through the tools with which you will fashion my rescue, you may discover the place of my last meal. Be careful, the shiny solid floor of water is not as solid as it seems. Poor Red was almost swallowed whole. The two fools he met plummeted into my domain have long since departed, though not I expect from whence they came. I ate ravenously of biped meat that day, uh, but Red promises feasting only began when the man became pungent, when the stench of life had gone, and only the sweet aroma of decay remained. All right, so he's eating people. That's, that's cool. You guys really bad at trying to make you feel better about things, yeah. Finally something younger than me, maybe this pack will help me figure out what's going on, going on down here. Old flare and some painkillers. Last will and testament of Joe Freeman, final thoughts. 10, 10, 2000. I, Joe Freeman, would like to leave all my personal belongings to my sister May in the knowledge she will distribute them wisely. We always used to say better to die young than to never live at all. I guess we're going to get our wish. I know enough about survival to realize I won't be surviving much longer. John O, my buddy, I just don't know. My left leg is broken in three places, and I suspect I may also have shattered my pelvic bone. Three hours ago, after we'd set up camp, John O set off to find some usable timber for the fire. When he got back, he was very excited. I couldn't work out what it was that had got him so agitated, but I went along with it all the same. I should have recognized the sign. Soon after, it got worse. He jumped me when I turned away, burying my face in the snow, trying to suffocate. I still don't know what he found in the ice to enrage himself. Lucky for me, the ground gave way and we both fell. I landed hard on ice and desperately thawed my way onto more solid ground. I was running on adrenaline, didn't notice the pain, I just knew that I was, if I was going to die, I didn't want to be in the frozen water beneath with me. 
When you fall into a frozen lake, you don't just drown or freeze to death. Your whole body seizes up from the cold. Every instinct tells you to swim for the side, but your body won't let you. You gradually dip under the surface, your last breath expelled when you fell. But you don't drown there and then. Your body shuts everything down, survives on what strength you have left. You can last for an hour just floating there, slowly, slowly dying. So now I'm lying here, my soaked vortex slowly freezing me in place, me on one side of the lake, Jono trapped on the other. I'm worried about him. For what I can see from this side, his arm is dislocated, his shoulder blade fractured, and his wrist broken. I can't hear anything he yells, but he looks to be constantly muttering to himself, testing the ice with a crowbar from his pack. I don't know how he can stand the pain or where his strength is coming from, but at any rate, something strange happened to him. Fortunately for me, he can't cross the ice. It'll give way under its weight. The only way to cross would be to carefully spread your weight evenly across the surface. It looks in too much of a rush for that. A lot of drugs in my system right now. I have another bottle of painkillers. There's enough to finish the job. I always said I'd rather die pushing the boundaries than drift away in my sleep. I guess I didn't mean that after all. I'd rather gently slip away than die cold or bleeding. Well, it looks like you got obliterated by something. Well, this is a neat area. It's probably going to kill me a couple times. There, it's me. I'm inside that box and outside it. I don't, I can't change things. Uh, I can't get things straight in my head. So like, I have no idea how this is supposed to work, but I guess let's just give it a try. Looks solid, but not much as it seems down here. Won't catch me trekking across that. You will, actually. You will catch me doing all kinds of stupid things at the moment. Apparently, painkillers fix everything. This Gore-Tex glove is high-tech modern stuff. I really hope there's not a body attached to it, though. Jesus, what a way to go. I'm sorry. Can I... Can I help you? Can I... Nope. Can't... Oh, wait! I have a saw. Rip Gordon Freeman. I don't... Bet I don't need that anymore. Y'all need a hand? We got we got a hand. Ooh. Oh look, there's a fishy down there. An extremely static fishy. Oh my god! Okay, well that's my ass. <laughs> Uh, great, it saved my position here, so now I can die on the way back many, 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 many times. I hand it to you, Arsh, I glove your answers to problems. Great. Oh, maybe you're, maybe you're just supposed to, like, creep. Maybe you're just supposed to go, like, really slow. Or maybe everything kills you. For the first time ever, Otis has a handle on things. That sounded weird. Hang on, there was an interaction point here. Could be a connecting stream in the summer useless now. Is that how you're supposed to do it? Jump across the boards? Well, it seems like I just, I fucked up everything now. Like, can I even get back from here? I 
mean, it seems like these pieces kind of float. Oh, they do. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, well, that's easy peasy. So you're supposed to inch forward until they break. And then just jump across on uh, on those pieces. Okay. Well, we're in good shape then. And I got crowbar. Ho, ho, ho. Um, I have all these tools. So many tools. I'm gonna assume I don't need the saw anymore. Can I beat things with the crow? No, crowbar is just a use item. Underground lake's pretty cool. I like that. Some pipes. Okay, well there's Mr. Doggo. Why did everything have to be dogs? All right, so from here, from here I'm guessing we, we wanna go as, as northwesterly as possible. I'm guessing we're, we're gonna wanna get into the two chemical storage areas. Because Red was talking about us needing to mix potions. Maybe prefer aardvarks. I mean, that'd definitely be interesting. Pretty sure the worms aren't dogs and the spiders aren't dogs too, unless the dog's wearing spider outfits. Yeah, but the spiders are just used for those tunnel sequences. And the worm was literally one encounter. Like, all the actual gameplay shit where I have to sneak around and do things is dogs. And it's like, but consider the dog worm. And I mean, the other thing is this is this is the third, well, no, I think that's being generous. This is the fourth or fifth area that I've had to sneak around dogs in. Like that, that's a lot of sneaking around dogs, okay? Like, for, forgive me for thinking this has gotten excessive, but this has gotten excessive. All right. I hear the rush of the thing. Well, I guess, I guess when you're in a mine, you have, I'm sorry, what? Oh fuck! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! No! No, I don't- okay. <laughs> I've got to seal that door. So I've got to shove something in front of it? What is this? Oh! Oh my god, there's a button right here. I did want something besides... Oh, this might be timed. Yeah, I think this might be timed. Ow. Okay. Hooey! Okay, so that's sealed. Oh, fuck. Are you kidding? Oh my god! Oh my god, no. Okay, this sucks. Ah! Mm, these things are scary, okay. All right, I got my wish. I got my wish. Ho hoisted by my own worm thing. 
It's entirely fair. Actually, I don't need that box. Okay. No! Work, goddamn you! Wait, that's not gonna be... Oh, God. No, I need you to... Oh, fuck. Ugh. Okay, that kind of worked. Oh, my God, are you fucking for real? Ugh. 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 Well, God. Are you nervous because you're cheering the camera bounce? Yes. Yes, these these chase these chase sequence make me really nervous. I hate I, I hate the sensation of being chased by things. Switch. Yeah. Destroy the wooden pillar. Oh, you know it's shaking because of how I have to. Like, how you have to wiggle the mouse to break this thing open. Okay, no, it's not that. That is not how you- Oh, this pillar! Wait, he wants me to what now? Yay! Salvation. Such as it is. Is he asking you to kill him? Like, possibly. He wants the little death. I got a chemical. Thank you. Very distinct. Yeah. Flares. I haven't used flares for anything. I got chemical. Okay, this is probably a bit much. And a chemical. Boy, I gotta catch them all. Look, more chemicals. Eat his heart to gain his power. And a chemical. And a shoe. Okay, the shoe I could probably do without. And drugs? Dra no, everybody took all the drugs already. Eh. Magnesium, calcium, barium, chloride, phosphorus, sodium. Do not forget, badly, ad admin badly administered dopamine clouds frequently everything. B A D C F E? Two, one, four, three, six, five? There's a carbon copy of me inside the artifacts, except there's more than one, and they're not very good copies. Um, oh, hey, look at this. Nope. <laughs> Fucking nope. All right, so maybe I need the chemicals. Maybe I need to take the chemicals somewhere else, because I've got A, B, a missing one. I am missing one. It might not necessarily be in here. Because there is a second chemical storage. It's inside the boot. There it is. All right, I got him. <laughs> Don't believe Chaz lies. There we just go. 
Back to Dogland. Right fucking there. Alright, um... Hell am I? I guess we'll go around to the incinerator. Like, I didn't... I didn't see any mixing things there. So maybe you're just supposed to mix it on site? Unless I'm supposed to be incinerating. I'm not trying to use my hands. I need to use a tool to force it open. Well, you're in luck. I have a tool. Where are you, my shiny knight? Have you really made it this far? I wait and wait, and yet the pot never boils. I remain trapped in my den of iniquity. Perhaps the gods have toyed with me once more. Sentenced me to yet more years in this place of eternal nightlight. But now, maybe my ill advice has ended you. Have you rung Death's doorbell? Please don't leave poor Ren all alone once more, like all the others. Christ. So, they mention the explosives book. Big book of explosives. Um, not dynamite. Red phosphorus and barium? I guess for now, let's try going this way. Oh god. Okay. Ugh, okay. I don't like the way this place is designed. This reminds me a lot of Half-Life 1. From the crazy fucking places you would end up in that. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> you f Iniquity and inequity are not the same thing. Uh, I wonder if this is gonna be like an escape. Try smash door? Okay. Usually they say something about that, like, but... Doesn't seem like it. Holy shit, you can actually look through keyholes in this game. Holy shit, that's really cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think that did it. Oh my god, that did it. Ah, chemistry room. Okay, so we did need to come in here. Are they expecting me to get really beat up in here or something? Room should serve me well. Serve me well as a potion mixer with the explosives book being my guide. Glass be the no. These are glass test tubes, idiot. Not beakers. All right, handy dandy fuse. Perhaps I use a burner manufacturer makeshift chemical bomb if I had the right chemicals. Glass container. Versus Jones six speed, break every fucking thing. If I never see another one of these things, I don't know, I don't like them. But at the same time, I know that I'm leaving a part of myself behind each time I go near them. Can I just leave it here? Um. A container for mixing chemicals. Okay, so I bet. Here, let's just put everything up in here. A, B, C, D, E, and F. Alright, so there's that. So, the...
to have magnesium, calcium, barium, chloride, phosphorus, and sodium. And in the explosives book, red, phosphorus, and barium. I kind of wonder if I'm just supposed to follow this. B A D C F E. Let's try that. Um, need a gas supply before I can light the burner and a beaker to mix the chemical in. Okay. Oh, I probably need to light it too. There we go. Alright. B. Okay, I don't think that was right. So, I guess that means that this is just telling me which one is what. So, B, A, B, A, D, C, F, E. So, I need barium, D, I need D and F, maybe? D and F. I think that's it. So long as I'm careful when I move it, it should say stay stable. Um, do you need a fuse in there? I need to start thinking straight. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God, I get it. Oh, my God, I get it. Oh, this is going to be really stupid. So I have to carry this back across here. <laughs> Frictional is such a bunch of assholes. Such a total shower of assholes. They do make entertaining games. But they're just super dicks about it. Okay, there we go. All right. Thanks for saving there. Um, there's a key. Fuck you! Fuck you, Drake Nell. I really hope this is far enough. Okay, good. All right, I have I have accomplished something. But what? What have I accomplished? Hell is that? Hello. Door is different newer than all the others. It must be where Red's been leading me all this time. I can't get a hold of it. I need something to lever it open. Um, I have a crowbar. Hydraulically sealed. It won't just pry open. Maybe if I could cut the power. Okay. Locked. Well, I've heard that before. At least wait until you weren't on the balancing beams. I suppose I suppose I appreciate that level of restraint. What the hell's this room? Good evening. You, you, you actually came. There is much that should leave my throat box now. But words elude me. You came, you are so pretty, but I have been bad. The underworld already beckons me, so I suppose one further misdemeanor will change with me. It is false pretension, and not dying life with which I have led you here. I cannot give you the answers you want. 
You may wish to find what it is you seek, but that is a fiction. You cannot know what it is you sought through the vast legend doorway, or else you would seek anything else in the world. No, the key stays with me in here, so the life that has led me, horrible as it may be, is better still than the life that waits for you, hungry behind those doors. As the basements go, you shall be admirably abnormal. But you must wonder why this metal burning chamber is talking to you and the voice you knew only as red. For it is I, your companion, residing within. You see, I have waited for this day so many years. They won't let me die. They have parts of my head are not my own. And I cannot take my life. It is against the rules. Please, the pain has gone on for so long. All I wanted was a friend, but now the time for chit chat and marshmallows by the fire has ended. And I hope that soon as so shall my life. I have knocked on the death door for so long. Please, let him invite me in for tea. Okay, so he is apparently possessed by something. And he wants us to kill him. Vicious looking things, almost like meat hooks. What's up, Hand of Stan? What's up, Echo Far? Good to see both of you. Yeah, he's got the key and you gotta get it from him. Why would Red want me to kill him? Why like this? What can I do? You can oblige him, I guess. Well. I feel like maybe he regrets that decision now. That took some time, too. Red, I'm so sorry. Whatever happened to you down here, it's over now. Ashes. All that remains of my only friend down here. Alright, well. We got a key. That's good. Poor guy. Poor guy was really not happy down here. Uh, presumably this key is for this door. Key Red was guarding for me. Was he trying to keep something hidden or was he really trying to protect me? Reams of books. Where did Red scavenge all these from? There's everything from survival manuals to the collected works of Shakespeare and Kant's ethics. If this is how he spent his time, no wonder he spoke so strangely. He must have led a lifetime of misunderstanding. Poor Red. I'm so sorry. You're at peace now. See Red now sitting here guiding me. I probably wouldn't be standing here now if it wasn't for him. Why do you have to leave me down here alone? <clears throat> My dearest friend, how are you? I am well. I am as well as can be expected. I have some sad news, though. A few days ago, there was some kind of collapse, and some of the ceiling of the cave fell in on me. What scares me is that I was in an off-limits part of the mine. They may not look for me here, but if they do and they find me, I'll be in so much trouble. But I don't think I'll have to worry about that, because I'm not sure I'll be getting out of here. I don't mind so much. I've been working in the mine for about three weeks now, and I'm really proud that I can send money home. But it's pretty tough work, and so far, you're the only person that's really been nice to me. Plus, I have some nice company down here. Some friendly kind of creepy crawlies and some books I brought from home that I was taking to the rec room. If you think about it, I was really quite lucky I had all the stuff with me, otherwise I'd be bored stiff. As it is, I have Shakespeare, Bronte, Nietzsche. Perfect bedtime reading. Although I suppose I might be trapped here long enough that I have to read them twice. I always used to ask my mom how long people survive without food and things. I read how some people can survive underwater for over five minutes and some people last in the desert for weeks. But she always said you had three minutes of air, three days of water. I suppose I'll probably find out soon enough. Uh, I guess if I had to, I could find food around the place. Like I said, there's all sorts of creatures here, but they're better off as my friends than my lunch. Uh, I wonder whether I shall starve to death or go crazy first. Neither sounds too, mu too much fun, I guess, but if I had to choose, I'd say I'd want to go mad. 
Sounds like an adventure. Tom Redwood. Age 14. Jesus. Okay. All right, let me save before I do anything else. Chains on his arms are visible now. Not there out of choice. Father looks on a gas. He cut, clutches some notes, shaking hands. He knows. He knows what has come with the man is released. The only one who could stop it. Howard knows, Howard knows the real fear. But, yeah, 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 yeah. Smells like a sewer. Howard read sleep on this. Maybe he just didn't sleep. Um, what the hell's in here? Oh. Oh. Uh, leaving out how Red managed to catch and kill this thing is quite clearly inedible. Poor guy must have been so close to starving to death. Ugh. Yeesh. And the stench, I think this may have been his toilet. Oh my god, dude. No wonder he's getting hungry. What a final meal. Ration slugs. Still knowing red. Perhaps he enjoyed them. It was 14 in 1970. How many hours do you spend with his neck in this noose just trying to end it all? Up. Electrical panel. Funny place to have one. Um, all right. Electrics may be running out to the door. Uh, still my bolt cutters. There we go. Is anything else gonna happen? <clears throat> so this is what he didn't want us to do. He didn't want us to go through here. But why? As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn in two. Part of me I felt had died, along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they'd answered, and I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head, despite knowing deep down the pain I had caused Red was itself all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do other than press on into the unknown. If I'd felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would trade his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to my father's fate and that he was inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I'd seen up until that point was just symptomatic of whatever lay beyond the threshold. I know now I was right. Sometimes death is better than madness. Uh, was it part of what controls him or was actual wishes? Did you play Soma and pull out the tube or leave the tube? It, I... No, I pulled it. Why Why would I consign anybody to that fate? Welcome to the shelter, established 1973. Elevated cast, chief staff, lower cast, temporary. Total population 57. Key members, Wilbur Frisk, Ben Stafferson, Neil Oswald, here, Pete. Last updated in 2000. Established 1973, established in 2000. Please have your identity documents ready? What the fuck? There's a fucking person down there. Oh, I hate this. Oh, my flashlight don't work. Oh god, I hate this. Oh, I don't want this. <laughs> Start tossing flares. Oh, you can't throw flares. That's weird. It's 
Locked. Locked. Ah, Jesus Christ. With that, the man who had first descended in the mine was no more, and so began my next chapter. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Oh. Okay. T Congratulations! <laughs> Time to start the next one! You beat the game! I did beat the game. How about that? Whew. Poor Red. Poor Red. Hmm. Yep. Rest in peace, Red. I'm not gonna let Black Plague is one of your favorite frictional games, even though it is ultra jank. I've heard it's I've heard it's better than this one. This one, okay, in the end, this one wasn't. <laughs> Thank you for that. This one wasn't so bad. Um, I still I still stand by my statement that there are too many dogs in it. Um, the puzzles were kind of neat. Very, very point-and-click adventure they felt. Um, the spider tunnels were tense. The worm chases were tense. Had really good, really, really good atmosphere. Um, but you can kind of see how it's like... It's just kind of the same thing over and over again. Like, you get to a new section, and it's, it's like a maze of tunnels, and you have to avoid dogs to get to the different parts of it to get the items to move on to the next twist of tunnels and stuff. Surprised you didn't immediately uh, recognize the stealth section noises I made when I got here. <laughs> really no interest in the rest of the series? Okay, well, I know, I know Black Plague is the second half of this story. So we'll, we'll, we should do Black Plague at some point. Uh, there's a third game, I think it's called Requiem? But isn't that one, like, universally reviled? Like, it doesn't actually have any connection to the story. It's just, like, puzzles or something. This game exists entirely because the PC ignored his dad's warning. The next game exists entirely because the PC ignores Red's warning. We seem to have a trend here. Yeah, nobody seems quite sure why, why the third game in the series exists, so. <clears throat> well, I wasn't expecting to finish this this fast. <laughs> Second game, at least. But yeah, this this was good. I'll, in in the end, this was good. I think it, it helps... I think it does kind of help going backwards and seeing how Amnesia and Soma evolved out of these humble beginnings. A bunch of fan-made Penumbra games I watched uh, play. They were very well made. You can forget the names. It's interesting because it, it seems like that was a huge component of of frictional's popularity for a while I, I didn't realize people made penumbra fan games but um amnesia the dark descent i don't know if it shipped with it or they added it later but they added an editor for making like custom stories and i know that was huge for a while people made some really elaborate really well done custom stories for dark descent but then i don't think they ever did that for soma and I don't think there was one for Amnesia Rebirth either. Some also has an editor, although there aren't as many mods for that. Okay, so it does have an editor. I would I would have to assume that Soma would just be a lot harder because there's so much more detail in it. Like there's the the graphical fidelity is so much higher. I mean, it, the Dark Descent is almost like I mean it's almost like old like Quake botting or something. Like modern game, it's it's a lot harder to make new new content and assets for modern games because the bar is so much higher. It was a lot more accessible in the day, days of like Doom and Duke Nukem 3D, because you basically you had the exact same tools that the developers did. And you were making stuff on the same level. You didn't you didn't need to have like advanced 3D modeling and animation skills just to throw something together. 
But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. <clears throat> we will we will do Black Plague at some point. Um, I'm not sure when because I already there's already a number of things that I wanna I wanna do in November. Best mod I know for Soma is when day breaks. I might look that up. Are you sure you want to quit? Well, I finished it, so yeah, I do. All right. Um, the question now is, what do we do? Because I only took half the scene, uh, half the stream. We finished reading Red's eulogy. Oh, um, since we're here, a reminder: tomorrow night we're doing the Mega Wheel. Um, I am looking for horror or Halloween-y games on Steam, $10 or less. If you want to submit something, now is the time. Um, it's 5,000 coins to throw something on the pile. And y'all know the drill at this point. We'll pick three of the submissions. We'll, uh, or we'll put them all on the wheel. We'll put all your submissions on the wheel. We'll spin it thrice. Uh, we'll play each of those games for 30 to 40 minutes, and then we'll decide which one's the most entertaining. Whoever submitted the most entertaining one gets to be a channel VIP. Pinball? You seriously want to see pinball at this junction? At this point? What's something? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What's, there has to be something. There has to be something in my library that I could follow Penumbra with. Um, hang on. Me. Maybe I can just throw on something really random. Because uh, I have all kinds of weird... I have all kinds of weird horror games kind of socked away. Um, they have some stuff. Banging hands on desk. Pinball. Now we see play the dark room mod for amnesia. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, we'll do this democratically. I'm going to put it to a vote. We're gonna we're gonna do a poll. <laughs> My last poll was who be. All right. What do now? All right. Uh. All right. Here here's your option. Here are your options. I have, I have a number of weird indie horror games just sitting around on my account on Steam here that we can play. Um, and I also have pinball. <laughs> I can play a bunch of pinball. So what would, you, what would you find folks rather see for the next hour or so? More horror. Let's see some balls. Get, get your balls out, Oddish. Get them out. Chat wants to see your balls. Paranoia Escape Pinball or something else? Creep Night Pinball was your childhood? What's Creep Night Pinball? This, this is not horror pinball that I'm pitching to, to y'all. It's... Uh, Here again. Oh, dude, weird. Oh, that's really interesting. Pretty cute. This channel RLM there. RLM? 
No, that pinball was something else. Oh, Red Letter Media? Is that something they do? It said it's not like on GOG or something, so good luck getting the old Abandonware working. Oh. That's something that I, I do want to do in, in the near future. Cue the high-pitched laughing. I can't do that. Even if I wanted to. Even if I wanted to drive people off with that screeching. That's not something I'm capable of. The voice you're doing is exactly like the gross pervert voice a lot of them do. It must be a universal thing, then. <laughs> it's something we all have in common, apparently. We all have the same concept of gross perverts. Um... No. Um. Oh yeah, what was kill it with fire? What is what is this thing that you were talking about? Fire. Tiny build game. I like tiny build games. Kill it with fire is a first person action game about hunting spiders and. <laughs> this screenshot's amazing. Look at this. <laughs> Okay, seriously, fuck this spider in particular. Do objectives get more tools to kill spiders? Do you have a shotgun? <laughs> oh my god. I don't think you're supposed to be seeing daylight through that. <laughs> this is kind of amazing. Flamethrowers. God. Ninja stars. Kill radioactive spiders, blow out the candle, kill zombie spiders. The fuck? That's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty cool. Recommended for good, stupid fun. It's like build a bridge simulator, but you're an exterminator. This actually reminds me of something. Um, I will go ahead and tell you about this now. Uh, a dear, dear friend of mine was nice enough to gift me this. I have teardown. And I want to do it, I'm thinking next week, next Friday, we're going to play Teardown. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a fully destructible voxel world that you get to, like, plan heists for. Teardown is awesome. Yeah, it looks really fun. Monsters won't eat ghosts because they taste like shit. <laughs> What's up, ND? <laughs> yeah, this looks rad. This looks like a lot of fun. So, so book this for next week. I think that's going to be our, uh, our Friday stream. Oh, God, even the cars fly apart. That's really cool. <laughs> Sport game with red faction mechanics. It does look cool. Yeah, this should be a lot of fun. And it's, it's so pretty, too. Like, I'm used to... I'm, I'm from the era where voxel games just look like absolute shit. Um, but they've clearly come a long way. Kind of opinion, Teardown is kind of shit unless they made changes to it since I last saw it. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll experience it together. And it seems like even... <laughs> it seems like we could probably get some, some good, wholesome fun out of this. Watch another guy stream it for a while. It's fucking amazing. Playing different types of missions, too. Sometimes demolition, sometimes burglary. All making holes. All right. Red Faction Gorilla should be on your list at some point, spending channel points to play Space Hassle at any point. We've already done that, Drake Mill. No. We did that a while back. I, I played through the entirety of Red Faction Gorilla. I tapped out during the final mission because it was so tedious. I said I was going to go back and do it, and I never did it, and I don't, rec I, I don't regret not going back and doing it. <laughs> I'm actually pretty comfortable with that. All right, let's play some weird, random horror. Um, I guess we'll break open the Friday list. What do we got here? Um, what are you? What is this? All right, all right. We're we're gonna take it. We're gonna take a chance on this. We'll change what we're playing. I'm the one that told you about Space Out. Yeah, I think you were. So you get to the dark side of the moon. 
No, no, you beat the game. I think, I think you're thinking of um, Vagrant Story, actually. Vagrant Story, I definitely beat. Like, without question. Legacy Dark Side of the Moon bought it a long time ago and never played it. Dark Side of the Moon. I'm guessing you're not talking about the song. Um, this is Derange. I got this a long time ago through Curator Connect, I think. I believe this is this is an RPG Maker horror game. Let's see what we got. Pretty much uninstallable from disc now, sadly. There, there is a game I have on disc uh, called Stratosphere that I really want to play for you all sometime because it's super unique. But I have no idea if I can get it running on a modern system. I'm going to try. I'm going, I'm going to try sometime, maybe sometime soon. Once we're on the other side of Spooktober and Spooktober. I had to step away. How did Penumbra end? Uh, we, roasted, we roasted red. Uh, we got the key. Uh, we saw the squalid conditions Red lived in for like 40 years. And then we went through a door that took us to the shelter, which is some kind of like... Some kind of like underground living arrangement for like 50-some people. And then there was a scary person at the end of some hallway and the lights went out and we got clubbed over the head. And it was all like, to be continued. Yeah, we got knocked the fuck out. Darkseid has Rupert Booth from Contradiction as the main villain. Oh, that's awesome. Um, let's do standard game difficulty. How many old RPG Maker games are breaking? That's a good question. His first words were, don't come from me. But naturally, we didn't listen. We should have listened. But we didn't. I will turn this down. It's been two years since we've last seen Dr. Prester. There we go. <clears throat> he had vanished off the face of the earth after leaving his post at the university. He hadn't even bothered to tell us where he was going. He had always said he would stop at nothing to unravel the secrets of life. Perhaps he'd just become wrapped up in his research? We hoped wherever he was, he would find out uh, what he was looking for. Um, Manic, we, we roasted Red. We f found out he'd been living down there for 40 years. We ended up in some kind of, like, underground survival shelter. Somebody knocked us out to be continued. Then, without warning, he sent us an email. Don't come for me, it said. I may not live to see the day, but I know what I'm doing. What I'm doing will help humanity in the end. I just wanted to let you know I'm giving my life for the benefit of you and everyone else. If he hadn't emailed, they never would have come looking for him. What the fuck? No end. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a cliffhanger ending. I knew that going in. Penumbra Overture is the first half of the story. Penumbra Black Plague is the second half. I knew only one thing. Prester was in trouble. It was up to us to save him. We traced the email to its source. We had only one lead to follow. Irvin sent the email. had done so from an isolated location in Massachusetts. Somewhere tucked away in the mountains, we would find Prester waiting for us. Or, so we thought. May 2nd, 2002. Wow, this game takes place in the future. Derange. He experienced the mass effect. Please select the character you'd like to play. There's Jessica King, grad student, starts with a lighter, can carry two extra items. Or Nathan Romero, an IT technician, starts with a multi-tool, can find hidden items and supplies. We're gonna be Jessica. It's 
It's a hell of a stinger for getting out of your fucking car. Don't you want to play as the nerd? I live the nerd. I am the nerd every day of my life. Please. Please, chat. Let me have this. This is it. Looks like we finally reached our destination. This old house. Whoever sent Prester's email must be waiting for us inside. From here, this place looks totally abandoned. Come on, Jessica, let's check it out. I know, I was joking. Gee, thanks! <laughs> Use Wazda or arrow keys to move. Hold shift while moving to run. Use the mouse cursor to examine your surroundings. If you see anything noteworthy, stand in front of it and press the enter or left mouse to activate it. Press escape or right mouse. Kick. What? I don't think it works. <laughs> oh, you also work IT? Oh god, there's stamina. Hey, don't go wandering off. I might need you for something. So... It says there's mouse control, but there's not mouse control. And I was like, does RPG Maker actually have mouse support? You really think this place has an internet connection? The door is locked. Well, nobody said this would be easy. Got to be a spare key somewhere. You should look for it. You can count on me. Cool, I'll keep investigating this door. Maybe I can pick it or something. Keep in the hollow log. gonna wander off into the woods to die. Good luck with that door, bro. Uh, I found a totally other house. That escalated quickly. What the hell? What happened here? There's blood everywhere. I hope Dr. Prester's okay. I better find that key soon. Portable camping lantern. It doesn't seem to work. His body is covered in cuts and bite marks. He seems to have been dead for a while. Some kind of house plant. It hasn't been watered a long time. Door is locked on the key to open it. Blank notepad here. Take it? Sure. Oh, there's item boxes. This is a nice menu. Command items. So she can hold 10 items. That's not bad. I have no I have no files yet. Packet of headache pills and half-filled water bottle have been left on the bedside table. Bed is covered with mold, hasn't been used in a long time. Bottled painkillers, gimme. Horrible camping lantern, doesn't work. Walk-in closet, the door appears to be jammed. Close trap door at the top of the ladder. I can't possibly reach it from here. That's why you climb the ladder, dipshit. I think the smart thing would be to alert your partner that the corpse is about and call the police to come investigate. You can almost guarantee it's not an option. Metal utility box. The door is held firmly in place with screws. It's a handwritten note pinned to the wall. February 23rd. I just want to sleep. The house is infested with bugs. Uh, next day, bugs multiplying. Must be a nest somewhere. I want a piece until I find it. Next day. Lock doors to keep bugs out. Left key in garden shed since they're too dumb to find it. Now I can finally rest. February 26th. Hiding in the attic piece at last. Well, that's definitely not creepy. Empty beer and whiskey bottles. Dust is gathered inside. Door is locked. Door is locked. I can save. Great. This card key can be seen underneath the floorboards. I can't seem to get grip on it with just my hands. Uh, none of that stuff is going to help. Old 
hatchet here. Give it. Uh, is that an equipable? No reason to use this here. Bundle of firewood. Obviously been here for a while. Burn the entire house. Lighter is friend. Can I chop the floorboards up? Why is there no reason to use this here? Like... So can I, like, axe murder the doors? No reason to use this here. Can I axe murder the closet? All right, fine. Whoa, what was that? Oh, cool, you can go diagonal. Oh good, you're still here. Hey Nathan, you're not gonna like the sound of this. I found blood and a dead body. Something seriously, seriously screwed up around here. You found what? Let's watch each other's back from now on, okay? Who knows what messed up stuff is waiting for us in this place. You go and search for that spare key. I'll stay here and keep trying to open this door just in case. We'd better watch each other's backs. Let's split up. <laughs> No, call the sheriff. Doors covered with vines and gotta be open. I can just find a way to clear them. Hatchet! Use the hatchet to chop away the vines. Hooray. The head of the hatchet broke off. Fuck. Oh, uh, that's a chainsaw. Rusty looking chainsaw is stuck inside the table. It doesn't seem to be any way to remove it. Bottle of painkillers. Give them. Gardening tools. Rope is too afraid to be of any use. Cottage key, take it. Cool. Literally the job of police force to come investigate death. Door appears to be blocked from the other side, okay. Found a key, but I don't think it's for this cottage. So now I have an axe handle. Maybe I can use the axe handle to get that key out from under the floorboards. Uh, okay. All right, well that was a zombie dog. I wonder if they can do the Resident Evil thing and have him like bust in through the window. Oh, good. Oh, good. I like the footsteps. It's a nice touch. Use the cottage key. Dusty condiment bottles. They're expired, of course. Half full bottle of bourbon. I don't feel like a drink right now. Yeah, you will in a minute. There's a kitchen knife here. Take it. You just obtained your first weapon. By using your weapon in the inventory screen, you can equip it and use it to defend yourself. If an enemy attacks you while you have a weapon equipped, a mm will appear above your character's head. If you press enter or Z immediately, you will strike at the enemy and trigger combat. Combat is resolved automatically with a hidden dice roll. Your weapon will either hit and inflict damage to the foe or it'll miss, resulting in a failed attack. How likely your attack is to succeed... Depends on the weapon you're using. Weapon comes in two types, melee and firearms. Melee weapons don't use ammunition, but you will risk taking damage from the enemy if your attack fails. Firearms avoid enemy attacks, but require ammo. Combat and derange is difficult and dangerous. Try to use your weapon only as a last resort. Great. Great. Equip the kitchen knife. So you have to time... You basically get a prompt, you have to time your button press, and then you get a random chance to either succeed or fail. Um, that 
Doesn't sound like it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you up front. Cantor's locks. So I'm going to tape a post-it note to the door. Got to keep the party favor safe for the big night. Numeric lock attached to the handle. Yeah, I don't know. No comment on the missing body. Yeah, that was surprising. Yeah, you're probably supposed to avoid fights, but... You know, that's going to depend on how this game is laid out. How feasible that's going to be. Modern looking television. Up calendar. February 14th, celebration night. Duct tape, give it. Oh, maybe I make like a duct tape stick. With the axe handle. Ashfield fireplace, still some wood left inside. That's nice. Good for you. Let's go in this room. I'm sure this is a pleasant room. Don't have any use for this key anymore. I'll discard it. I like it when games do this. Thick layer of dust cell in the bathtub. Fill with murky water. Medical kit. Give it. Faded stains cover the inside of the toilet. Um, Evil Tonight did that too. Although, Evil Tonight didn't even announce when it did it. It would just do it. You'd, you'd look in your inventory for something and it just wouldn't be there anymore. Um, no reason to use this here. No reason to use this here. Prefer they announce it. So, I guess you can't combine items feel like evil tonight like evil tonight not really any reason What, what good is duct tape supposed to be on its own? The door appears to be jammed. Oh, maybe, maybe the axe handle's for this. No? What the fuck? Wait, what did I... What do they want me to do right now? One thing I did appreciate now, break combined shit to make better weapons you had, uh, David, got a stick and a kitchen knife, spear, got a pipe and chunk of concrete, huge fuck off club. Okay, well, I must have gotten that key for a reason. There has to be something in one of these rooms that I can do. Battery and pipe, shock baton. Didn't Dead Rising 2 also do that? Wasn't that part of their gimmick? To a much greater degree. Oh, February 14th. Oh. My bad. There we go. Spices, condiments, and other perishables. Spots of green mold cover everything. Box of canned meals is enough here to last months. Meat hook here. Take it. Sure. Right, I'm pretty sure we can use the meat hook to get the key.
Tape the meat hook to, oh, you automatically combine stuff. Tape the meat hook to the axe handle, and then manhole opener. But why? Why would, why are you like this? Maybe the attic? I don't know. Is Dead Rising 2 off the record to be a good game if you haven't played, caught for someone to clown around and follow? Yeah, the only Dead Rising I played is one, and I did play it a lot. Um, but I never played any of the other ones. Okay, that did it. Use the manhole opener, open the trap door. Oh, it's that guy. Antique floor lamp, the bulb was burned out. Gun. Gasp. Can't be. Someone's still alive? Hey, you there. Are you okay? I need some help. Uh, hello? This is Zambi. Talking to you. Can you help me or not? Bugs. Can't make them go away. Bugs. I don't see any bugs. Bugs. I want to get rid of them, but they won't leave. You, the bugs, please help me. What will you do? I'm fucking off from this guy. Something's wrong with you. Whoever you are, stay the hell away from me. No, you can't leave. I need help. You get rid of the bugs. <sighs> ah, I need to kill you. Oh, no. Oh, God, they follow you. They really follow you. Wow, they just keep going, okay. Damn it, the door is jammed. Okay, but they're actually pretty slow. <laughs> I'll be trapped when I go through this door. Well, what's your brilliant plan here, lady? Is the game telling me I have to fight this dude? Oh, no, 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 okay. Okay, well, we can save again. Can I get this yet? Can you please do the smart person? No, you should already use your fucking... Seems like I'm safe, for now at least. I should try to find a way back into that attic. I'm sure there was something I needed up there. Biggest blue ball key there is. I can't dangle a piece of tape down here and pick up the key even though the duct tape would actually pick up a key. Should be able to climb this fence. Let's go back in the Zambi house. I'm sure the Zambi didn't go back upstairs. I'm sure he just kind of ceased to exist. Bloodstained diary here. Oh, good. February 14th, 2002. The research team invited me to join them for drinks in the mansion tonight. Apparently, they made a breakthrough in the research, so it was their first chance to relax in months. We all got to let loose for a few hours, but I don't remember seeing Dr. Prester joining in on the festivities. I guess some people just don't know when to relax. February 15th. Saw Dr. Prester walking through the grounds while I was tending to the garden. I asked him why he hadn't been to the party. Apparently, he'd spent all night wrapped up in his research. He looked a little strained. I tried to ask if he was okay, but he just snapped at me to mind my business and stormed off. That guy's going to work himself to death one of these days. 16. Found a strange bug feeding on the plants this morning. A disgusting flesh-colored grub with giant teeth and nasty-looking suckers all over its body. I ran to get the bug spray, but the thing was gone when I came back. Whatever it was, I'd never seen anything like that before. 17th, was woken up at the crack of dawn by John from research banging on my bedroom door. He demanded to draw my blood, then told me to stay inside my cottage for the rest of the day. 
When asked if something was wrong, he shrugged and said, just taking precautions. Precautions for what? I'll never know. I'm under strict orders never to ask what goes on in that house. 18. Saw that weird bug again. Thing dropped onto my shoulder while I was taking a piss and scared me half to death. I flicked the bastard in the toilet and flushed it away. Had a splitting headache all day. Taking aspirin doesn't help, so I hit the sack early. 19. Headache even worse today. It hurts too much to write. I could barely even get a wink of sleep last night either. Headache still here. It feels as if my brain is being torn too. Whole damn head hurts. John came back to check on me. Bugs don't like him, so I killed him. Can't sleep. Head hurts. The next page appears to have been torn out. Still hurts. Yeah. Yep. As Bugsy mentioned, made him go crazy. I hope Dr. Prester's still okay. There's a speaker magnet here. Take it. Well, good thing I checked the TV. Random. What's this endeavor be? This is a RPG maker zombie horror game called Derange. I thought I'd give it a try since we finished uh, Penumbra Overture. A magnet to get the key? Oh, you're right. Well, wait, I have to I have to go around the outside since I blocked the door. Wait, maybe maybe not? I totally blocked the door though. Okay. <coughs> Neodymium magnet pull from a TV speaker. Use a speaker magnet to pick up a key. You got front door key. Amazing. Let's save again. Oh my god. Oh my double god. It happened again. Oh lord! Very slow zombie doggies are everywhere. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Bleh. Bleh. Okay, this is cute. I love how much faster we are than the dogs. Nathan, behind you! What in God's name? Stay back! Jessica, what on earth is this thing? What's happening in this place? Just my luck. Looks like we've got no choice but to hide. Hurry inside the house. I'll explain everything later. Achievement unlocked. Enter the world of survival horror. So, we finally made it inside the house. It didn't look quite this big from outside. Okay, first things first, we gotta look for... Whoa, time out for a second. I'm not going anywhere until I know what just happened out there. What's going on in this place? Those creatures outside? You are asking the wrong person. All I know is whatever those things are, they are not friendly. I was searching that creepy cabin outside for clues and suddenly all hell broke loose. Looks like Dr. Prester is wrapped up in something bad. Sounds like they're stuck out there for the time being, but now we're trapped in here. Well, we're definitely not safe here either. We need to figure out our next move and quickly. If you're up to me, I keep searching for Dr. Prester. But you're the one who seems to have her head screwed on properly right now. What do you think we should do? Let's search for Dr. Prester. Might as well keep looking for him. If anybody can tell us what happened here, I bet he can. I agree. If we have any chance of getting out of here alive, we've got to find Dr. Prester. It's a pretty big mansion, though. It's going to be a lot of ground to cover. If only we knew where to start looking. Our chances will be better if we split up and search separately. There's no need for both of us to get lost. Okay, sounds good. We should probably start from the first floor. I'll take the door at the back of this hall. If either of us finds anything, let's meet back here, okay? And try to stay out of trouble. God knows what else is lurking around here. Zero survival instincts. Oh, yeah, this is a horror game. Did she get infected when she shoved the zombie or did he get scratched and infected before he, she pushed the zombie aside? Both possibilities though, it sounds like maybe the bugs are the vector for zombification in this one. Let's hope we left the worst of those things out there. Be careful, Jessica. Alrighty. So dead rising? Yeah. 
Notice printed in an intricate typeface, the time will come at the high before sunset. Expensive looking grandfather clock, small keyhole beside the faceplate. We're obviously gonna have to open that up and change the time. Ah, Zambi! Are they gonna follow me through the house? Yeah. Bee slugs instead of bees! Zambi! So is combat meant to be avoided or are there just gonna be Zambies everywhere? Blank notepad, take it. Could be using the Silent Hill method with back slugs. All right, I guess we just have to learn to live with Zambies. It's locked, there's a silver mark above the keyhole. A cage? Large cage, what were they keeping in here? Cartridge is here, but your inventory is full. Oh no, I need an item box. Shit. Handwritten note taped to the wall. Oh my God, okay. Arachnid, tarantula, day of exposure. Okay, so this was the year before. After 24 hours began to exhibit rapular cellular mitosis consistent with uncontrolled growth within a week, physical size increased five, 500%. Organs resembling venom sacs were discovered within the upper tagma. A sample of the secreted substance test is extremely toxic. German Shepherd. Seemed to assimilate relatively quickly after initial exposure, unlike previous subjects. Size remains the same, so the lesions and like growth began to appear on the epidermis within hours of assimilation. Four hours, the patch of skin appeared to have been turned away like subject itching itself the effect there is iguana did not exhibit anomalous behavior until eight days after exposure suggesting a relatively so slow assimilation after the period subject appears to take quickly greater than previously observed dramatic and all the race scholars start that became our all right so the spider became aggressive and venomous the dog turned into a zambi dog and the the lizard just went Fucking off. Ah. Lock, gold mark above the keyhole. Okay. Bust to a dignified looking man. The plaque reads Ernest P. Ernest E. Prester, 1867-1922. Could he be related to Dr. Prester? Oh no, Dr. Prester is a ghost. The turlet. Painkillers, inventory full. <clears throat> ah! Do you just game over zombie touches you? No, I think we have health. Also, it seems like apparently combat is just like random chance. Yeah, auto combat. Stereo system with tape player. If I had audio tapes, I could listen to them here. Oh boy. Refrigerator stock with beer and whiskey. Microwave oven. I'm guessing we're not gonna shove some Zambi's head into that microwave. Probably should equip the pistol in incidentally. Uh, yeah, we should. Um, not sure how you're supposed to use it. Found a save room. Oh no, my inventory is full. Oh no, I'm clipping through the chair in a horrible way. All right, item box. Store items. Uh, let's see. Painkillers. I don't think you need that. Auto use of attack. So we'll put the kitchen knife away for now. <sighs> yeah. Um. Mm. 
If I get poisoned, I can treat myself here. So there's a poison mechanic too. A little disappointed, hope they made a basic combat system. Let's stash this. I tell you what, let's save. Let's get into some fights and see how it works. And then I think I'm gonna end early because I'm super tired. And I can already tell this one's not going to manage to keep me awake. All right, Zamboni. Okay, there we go. Oh my god! So not only do you have to time the counterattack, there's... Well, no, it's not just that. Like, I hit that. There's just a chance that you fail. You are dead! Like, they mentioned that in the tutorial. Like, you can just- you can just fail. So, they really want you to avoid combat in this. So. Okay, well, um, if... If you're in the market for a, a Resident Evil love letter cobbled together in the RPG Maker engine... Derange, ladies and gentlemen. This- this is the game for you. It ain't the game for me. <laughs> Not for me. All right, anyway, I think we're gonna go ahead and call it a night here because I am super tired and I have another day of uh, voiceover recording tomorrow. But don't forget, if you want to submit something for the Mega Wheel, uh, you've got another, let me think here, 12, You've got another 18 hours. I'm not gonna cut off submissions until 6 p.m. tomorrow, uh, my time. So you still got some time to pour through the, the, the piles of indie horror on Steam, find something that you might wanna submit. And then tomorrow night, we spin the mega wheel and we see what, what horrors and delights it shall inflict upon us. Good thing we didn't play pinball. <laughs> I even have Zambi pinball. I have Walking Dead pinball. Maybe, maybe next time Bacon Copter. Maybe next time the the cold, unfeeling hand of democracy will will swing your way. Um, Saturday we're doing Sweet Home. Don't confuse that for an RPG Maker game. That is that is some OG survival horror shit. And then um, preview of stuff next week. I'm thinking on Monday we will go ahead and start Realms of the Haunting. I see no reason to uh, put it off. Uh, Walking Dead Pinball, if it's based off the real table, I, I was at that release party. It's uh, it, Pinball FX3. I'm pretty sure they made their own uh, imaginary licensed pinball table out of it. So yeah, I think, I think we'll go ahead and start Realms of the Haunting on Monday. Um, on Tuesday, we're going to do Unpacking. Unpacking comes out on Tuesday, and I want to play it. Um, the Power Hours will also return next week on Thursday and Saturday. And then next Friday, we'll be doing uh, Teardown and maybe some other stuff. So there is your preview of next week's streams. I'm very ex excited to both get into Spooktember, but also return to some comfortable old standbys like the Power Hours. I have missed them terribly. Hopefully y'all have as well. But that is enough rambling for tonight. I'm about to pass out on my fucking keyboard here. Um, how about send you over to Mary Ellen Katz? Uh, she is playing, oh Jesus Christ. She is playing Resident Evil Revelations 2 and fighting some absolutely god awful looking thing. Barry Burton. Go on, folks. We've just we've just played some faux Resident Evil. Go experience the real deal.
and uh, have a good one. Take care. Um, get some sleep. I'm going to get some sleep. And then hopefully I will see you tomorrow night for the spinning of the Mega Wheel. Until then, as always, I already said it. I'm going to say it anyway because it's my shtick. Y'all take care. Bye, everybody.